Hey there everyone, it's uh, Ed here from Bunch of Swines again. Uh, today we're going to cook something a little bit different, okay? Uh, we are going to cook something called a chuck flap, okay? So, um, chuck flap is a uh, you know one of the the muscles that one of the cuts that comes out of the, the shoulder um, here we've got these uh, Spring Creek uh, Canadian uh, grain fed um, chuck flaps uh, looking at this you know it's uh, I'm seeing you know through the cryovac we've got you know some nice bits of marbling running through it so you know my idea is going to be I'm gonna I'm gonna try and prepare these very similar to beef ribs or how I would burn tens you know I've seen some people doing like fake burn tens using them so I figured I'm gonna treat these the same way um, today we're gonna you know look at how we're gonna trim them you know, how we're gonna prepare them ready to go on the smoker uh, today we're actually gonna cook them on our Yoda YS640 pellet grill uh, and see how they come out so First things first, you know, I'm just going to open up the, the cryo back. Okay, uh, I'm always, you know, when I'm cooking meat at home, I'm generally trying to use the, you know, the one clean hand, one dirty hand method, just so, you know, try and keep things nice. Try and get that out. So, and look at what we've got here. So, okay. So just look. Oh wow. Okay. So looking at this, you know, looking at the marbling that I'm seeing on here, um, it is very similar to probably a muscle structure to a to a beef short rib, uh, which gives me a few different ideas of ways that I can trim this and and so on. But for what we're doing today, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cook them whole. I think I was thinking about possibly butterflying it out uh, because of the thickness but I, I think that that's actually a good thing uh, as it is so um, but what I will want to do you know I'm already looking at it and seeing you know I've got this uh, silver skin on the backside these bits of fat um, you know some of that stuff that's just not going to render out so you know what I'm going to want to do is clean these up um, pretty quickly it's not going to be much work to trim them up uh, and then we can think about how we're gonna how we're gonna season these. So uh, very quickly, just slide my knife under the piece of uh, fat that I want to get rid of, uh, and just go like that. So and just expose the meat a bit better. So see, so, I just got that fat wedge there, which. It's not going to be that nice to eat, so I'll just cut that out. And then same again down here. Okay, now that we've got our chuck flaps all trimmed up, uh, I'm going to season these. So I'm going to season these uh, the same way that I trimmed that I seasoned the tri tip that we cooked the other day. Uh, so basically, we're going to use a, a combination of big puffer smokers rubs. Um, you know, the, the whilst the the tri tip you know is a little dry, the flavour that came through off the bar was really good. So you know, I'm going to look to to replicate that with these. So you know, as we did before. We're going to do a base layer of the uh, cash cow rub, followed by a secondary layer of the double secret rub, and then a final little piece of happy ending. So, again, I'm just going to treat it the same, just sort of shape, you know, get a reasonable coating. Yeah, look, this this rub's got a, you know, a lot of salt, pepper, garlic, beefiness, you know, a few extra ingredients. Yeah. You know, the double secret steak rub, you know, naturally just goes really well with beef. So we'll put that on there. And then finally, you know, the happy ending finishing rub. You know, this has got some sugar, some spices, you know, add a little bit of heat, you know, just to sort of waking it up a bit. And also, you know, it's got a nice, uh, give it a nice color as well. So, you know, I'm just gonna pat that in very quickly. 
Um, although these are reasonably thin, I probably am going to flip it over uh, and, and repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so I'll just get that bark going on both on both ends of the of the chuck flap. So. Then again with the Big Pop Smokers Double Secret. And then finally with the, the happy ending rub. We're not that kind of shot. Um, so I've got these rubbed up. I've got the smoker getting up to temperature. So what I need to do now is just leave these to sit. They're probably gonna sit for something in the region of half an hour, 45 minutes, you know, just so the rub has a chance to sort of start sweating into the meat. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them out on the counter. You know, I'm quite happy for them to be at room temperature. Uh, obviously I'm cooking in the garden, so I just want to cover it just to make sure I don't have any, any cats try and steal it or uh, birds swoop in and steal it. So um, we're gonna leave those there. I'm gonna go and wash up and we'll see you back in a bit. Okay, so our chuck flap has had a bit of time to rest, so you know, just letting the sugars and the salts and the, the rub um, do their thing and um, you know, bind themselves onto the meat nicely. You know, you'll notice I'm not using any kind of binders, any mustard or anything like that. I don't really need to on these. So what I'm going to do now, uh, we've got our Yoda, uh, our Yoda pellet smoker uh, running at a temperature now. So we're going to cook these at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you know, I want to get a bit of smoke on them. I'm guessing with these, I'm probably going to need to cook them for about three to four hours before I go to wrap them. Uh, so, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it though, see how the bark forms up. Um, but yeah, we'll get these on. Okay, I'm going to cook these on the top rack here. Um, I'm just going to and just lay it close up to the uh, to the exhaust. This is my hottest. Oh, let's say one of the hotter. Uh, parts of the, the Yoda. So I'm just going to lay them down like that. Okay, and we're just going to close the lid and let it, let it roll. Uh, you know, using a, a pellet smoker, um, you know, takes a, a lot of the effort out of it of, of running a fire. So these things actually run on a, a compressed uh, wood chip, a uh, wood pellet even. So, you know, kind of looks like that. So yeah, basically feeds it all, maintains the fire, gives me a, a nice clean burn and then a good smoky flavour. So, you know, I'm going to let the, the Yoda do the work for me today. Uh, I can go off and do other things and uh, we'll come back a bit later and see what it's looking like. Okay, so we're back uh, looking at these uh, chuck flaps today. So uh, they've only been on about uh, an hour and 45 minutes, uh, something like that. So a bit quicker than I was uh, originally expecting. Uh, I did have a quick check of them earlier and uh, yeah, my, my thermopen, yeah, it's reading about 165, 170 Fahrenheit internal temperature. So you know, I, I'm happy with that, I'm, I'm ready to wrap. So we're just gonna quickly take these off. Okay, one at a time. And then what we're going to do is just wrap this up, um, yeah, fold it up, wrap it up in the middle, 
and then we're going to add a, a bit of beef bog rub in there, so basically beef stock, um, just to, to help it graze as we uh, continue the cooking to get them tender. So, so yeah. here I've got um, one long piece, piece of tin foil that's been folded in half, um, shine inside, inside and outside this time, and literally I'm just going to pour half of this bog wool mixture inside. So we're pouring about 125 millilitres of the bog roll of the, the beef stock inside uh, and that's it, it's ready to go back onto the cooker so I'll put that one back on. Uh, obviously we're cooking two of them so we'll do it again with the separate one. So pour half of this bog roll into the mix. Roll one end securely so that when you put the bubble in it doesn't come flying out the wrong. Pop in the bubble. And again, seal it nice and tight all the way until you can fill the meat. And a nice little parcel to go back into the smoker. Okay. So yeah, that's our chuck flaps wrapped, uh, wrapped up in tin foil. They're going to continue to cook now. I'll probably check them again in an hour, uh, just to see if we're getting the, the tenderness that we want. Uh, the odor is still running steady at 275 Fahrenheit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll let it carry on and check back in a bit. Okay, so our chuck flaps have come off the, the odor. Um, they've been resting for a, a little while. Uh, basically they took about another two hours in the foil um, what I'm just doing now is just uh, finishing up the glaze uh, and then we're going to cut into them and see how they taste see what they're like so take this this piece out it feels nice and tender um, I'm gonna try just slicing it normally just to see what it's like I mean the structure wise it actually looks quite kind of similar to a, a beef rib which is quite nice you know i've got a nice smoke ring on there from the, the pellet grill um just gonna keep slicing this it's slicing really easily nice nice and soft uh it looks quite quite juicy as well so uh, i'm hoping it's going to taste taste as good as it looks and definitely smells good so I'm going to take this piece here. That's pretty good. It's, um, you know, for a cut that a lot of people don't really cook, wouldn't really think of cooking, um, it's nice that you can get a, a sliceable portion probably quite similar you know quite similar to a brisket in a in a lot of ways um but definitely something i would cook more of i mean i think you know where these such a small little piece it's a, quite a quick cook you know so you're not going to be waiting for for hours or you know a day and a half to, to try and cook something you know this is something that you can quite easily start in the morning have it for lunch um and get on with your day or, or you know in the evening so um, yeah, these are uh, grain fed uh, chuck flaps, really good. I think I'll probably use them a lot for um, you know, competitions as in trying out different rubs and flavours. So you know, it gives me a lot more flexibility rather than having to cook a, a full brisket as well. So um, definitely expect to see more of these. Piece of meat there. Yeah, this one here. So. 
really good. 